when we do calculations, we need to do them in the correct order. The correct order of operations is, firstly, we do brackets, then we do indices or powers, then we do dividing and multiplying. Dividing and multiplying is on the same line, so we can just do that from left to right. And adding and subtracting again, that's on the same line, so we do that at the same time. To remember the order of operations, we can write bid mass, or some people call it bod mass, or head mass, which is what they call it in America. So this is brackets, indices, then division and multiplication, and addition and subtraction, or brackets, ordinals, division and multiplication, addition and subtraction, or parentheses, exponents, division and multiplication, and addition and subtraction. So let's look at some questions. So we're going to do these calculations. I'm not just going to go from left to right. I need to do them in the correct order. Firstly, I'm going to write, I'll write bid mass at the top. So do we have brackets in the first one? We don't. We have no indices. We do have division and multiplication. We've got a four times three. So I'm going to do that first. Four times three is 12. So then we've got two plus 12, which is 14. The second one, we do have brackets. So we're going to do the bracket first. So two plus three is five. So that means we've got 10 divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. The third one, we don't have brackets, but we do have indices. We've got 3 squared here. So 3 squared is 9. Then we've got 4 times 9, which is 36. The next one, we've got a bracket. So we'll do that first. 3 plus 7, that's 10. So we've got 10 squared, which is 100. On to the next one. We don't have a bracket, but we do have an indice. So we'll do that one. 5 squared is 25. So we have 3 plus 25, which will be 28. The next one, where there's no brackets, there are no indices, there are two multiplications, so we'll do them. We've got 4 times 6, and that is 24, and we've got 2 times 5, which is 10. So we've got 24 minus 10, which is 14. And finally, the last one, we've got 2 times... 5 plus 4 in brackets, so the brackets are first. 5 plus 4 is 9, so we've got two 9s, which is 18. Okay, some questions for you to try. So pause the video and have a go at these. Okay, the first one, so we've got brackets, so we'll do that first. 4 plus 2 is 6, so we've got 6 squared which is 36. The second one, no brackets, no indices. We do have division, so we'll do that first. And it's 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So 10 plus 4, 14. Thirdly, 18 take away 2 cubed. So no brackets, but we have indices. So 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2, and that is 8. So we've got 18 take away 8, which is 10. The next one, 
no brackets, no indices, but we have a multiplication. So we'll do that. 6 times 4 is 24. So we've got 10 plus 24, which is 34. The next one, no brackets, no indices, but we've got division and multiplication. So we'll do them at the same time. We've got 8 times 3, which is 24. And 15 divided by 3, which is 5. So 24, take away 5, 19. Next up, so no brackets, we've got indices. And 3 squared is 9. So we have 10 take away 9, which is 1. And the last one, we've got no brackets, no indices. We've got a multiplication. So that is 2 times 7, which is 14. And then we've got addition and subtraction left. We can just do it left to right. So 5 take away 3 is 2. 2 plus 14 is 16. Here we have a different question. This says use brackets to make each statement correct. We know the order of operations says brackets come first then indices, then our multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. So at the moment, the multiplication is going to take place first. And we'll have 2 times 10, which becomes 20. 3 plus 20, 23. Take away 3, 20. And that's not equal to 17. So if we add brackets into this, we can change the order that this is done. So let's just try something. We can try the brackets in different places. So let's say we had brackets around 3 plus 2. That would mean that 3 plus 2 would be the first thing we do. So 3 plus 2 is 5. That would be 5 times 10 minus 3. And we do multiplication before subtraction. So that'd be 50 take away 3. And that is not 17. So we don't want the brackets there. How about around our 10 minus 3? So again, brackets come first. So this would become 3 plus 2 times 10 minus 3, which is 7. And then we do multiplication, so 2 7s are 14, so 3 plus 14, that is 17, so that is the correct position for the brackets. For the second one, so we already tried brackets around 3 plus 2, and that gave us 47. We've tried brackets around 10 minus 3, and that gave us 17. So where else could we put the brackets? Well, we could actually put them around both of them. So if there's brackets around both of these, we'll do both of these first. So 3 plus 2 is 5 times 10 minus 3, which is 7. And 5 times 7 is 35. OK, one for you to try. Pause the video, have a go at this, try and figure out where the brackets should go. Okay, let's try positioning these brackets. So at the moment, we will be doing a multiplication first. So it'll be 4 plus 5 times 6, which is 30. So 4 plus 30 plus 2. And that's not going to give us 72. So where can we add brackets? If we added them around the 4 
plus 5. That will give us 9 times 6. 9 times 6 is 54 plus 2 is 56. So that is the answer to the second one. So brackets around the first one will give us 56. How about brackets around the second one? So we do 6 plus 2 first this time. So that would be 4 plus 5 times 8. 5 times 8 is 40. That would be 4 plus 40, which is 44. And that is not what we want either. So let's try brackets around 4 plus 5 and 6 plus 2. 4 plus 5 is 9. 6 plus 2 is 8. And 9 times 8 is 72. So that is the correct position for the brackets. Okay, let's finish up with eight questions. So have a go at these ones. So we have our order of operations. So we're going to start with brackets, then indices, division and multiplication, and addition and subtraction. So the first one, there's no brackets, no indices. There is a multiplication. So we'll start with that. 2 times 3 is 6. So 10 take away 6 is 4. There are brackets in the second one. So we'll do the brackets first. We've got 3 times 4, which is 12. And 12 divided by 4, which is 3. So we've got 12 plus 3, which is 15. The third one, we've got indices. No brackets, but we've got indices. We've got 5 squared, which is 25. Take away 3 squared, which is 9. And 25 take away 9 is 16. For question 4, no brackets, no indices, there is a multiplication. So that will be first. 3 times 2 is 6. So we've got 5 plus 6 plus 6. We can just do this from left to right. So 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 6 is 17. Question 5, we'll do the brackets first. 2 plus 7 is 9. So we've got 9 squared, which is 81. Question 6. No brackets, no indices, but there's a multiplication. So let's do the multiplication first. 7 times 3 is 21. And then the addition and subtraction, we'll just do that from left to right. So 2 plus 21 is 23, take away 10, 13. Number 7. So no brackets, no indices, there's just division and multiplication. Division and multiplication, they're on the same line. We can do them from left to right. So 5 times 10 is 50. And 50 divided by 2 is 25. And the last one. So we've got brackets. So we'll do the brackets first, which will give us 1 plus 4, which is 5. So that'd be 5 squared plus 5 minus 10 times 4 divided by 2. Now we've got indices and we've got 5 squared. So we'll do that. 5 squared is 25. So we've got 25 plus 5 minus 10 times 4 divided by 2. Division and multiplication, we've got both of them. So we'll do them at the same time. So we've got 10 times 4 divided by 2. 10 times 4 is 40 divided by 2 is 20. 
So that leaves us with 25 plus 5 minus 20. Addition and subtraction we'll just do from left to right. So 25 plus 5 is 30. Take away 20 is 10. So if you put any of these sums in the calculator, the calculator should do the correct order of operations and you should get the same answers. So let's check this last one on the calculator. So I'm going to type this in. So 1 plus 4 squared plus 5 minus 10 times 2 10 times 4 divided by 2, type it in the calculator, and the calculator does correct order of operations and gets the answer of 10.